Air Force weekend. So I'm going to tell you very briefly because we haven't had an undersecretary for about three years, and uh, I don't even know if they've um, erased that from your contrails. But you do have an undersecretary. I'm the number two civilian official. So when Secretary Donnelly's on the road, I fill in for him, and I do pretty much anything else he asks me to do. But in addition to that, I am the. Uh, <laughs> is here this weekend. But in, in all seriousness, what we're talking about this week is really about you. We're talking about the future of the Air Force and the need to balance today's fight with what we're going to need to be able to do over the next 30 years. So whether we're talking about weapons platforms, operational concepts, or the future of recruiting and retention of this force, you are the guys who are going to lead it, and your airmen are going to be the ones who execute those battle plans in defense of this nation. So thank you for what you do, and thank you for the leadership that you're going to provide those airmen.
is our drum majors, Cadet 2nd Class, Matthew Buford from Cadet Squadron 38, and Cadet 3rd Class, Natalie Justice from Cadet Squadron 7. Thank you for your attention. Time to stand up, get wild, and cheer on your Air Force Falcons. Go Air Force! Thank you. Thank you. Captain Mike Nissen, class of 2005, with the 386th Air Expeditionary Wing. Go Air Force Navy! members of two of our nation's service academies are able to meet on the football field. We realize that each of these young men involved in this football game, in addition to the members of the brigade and cadet wing here at the Air Force Academy, will soon be serving our nation. We will always honor all the men and women around the world that so gratefully serve our country. On this day, we chose to wear uniforms that replicate one of the truly special units of the Air Force, the Thunderbirds. Ladies and gentlemen, stand up now and throughout the game, because here come your Air Force Falcons. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the Air Force Falcons. McDonald Douglas, F-15 Eagles, Wolfgang, Vegas, and one.
live competition held here on Squadron 18 as they compete for donations to their MWR fund, courtesy of the USAA. from Lawton, Oklahoma, and was released moments ago by Cadet Third Class Cameron Harris from San Antonio, Texas. The mascot you see performing before you today is one of 12 Falcons currently maintained at the Academy by the Cadet Falconry team and their officer leadership. Experts said that the Falcons could not be trained to fly in front of large crowds. However, Falcons have flown at numerous Academy sports events and parades since 1955. Today, Ace is performing a free flight. The first class cadet at the center of the, at the, center of the field is spinning a lure that simulates wild prey. Ace's instincts and training encourage him to go after the lure as if it was feeding the wild. Watch as the falcon climbs to retrieve the lure. Today, and behalf of the men and women of the United States Air Force Academy, we would like to say thank you for joining us in yet another demonstration by the only performing mascot in the NCAA. Go Air Force, sink Navy! Time, but has never lost sight of these sacred principles. Marching before you with pride, the ambassadors in blue, your United States Air Force Honor Guard drill team. the days of Camp Arnold and the Army Air Corps. Our mission has evolved from air power to every space and now includes cyberspace. However, an Air Force tradition that remains the same is the use of the drill team's line formation. Watch the domino effect created by the quick reflexes of each team member. Some noise for your drill team! <laughs> around the clock and around the globe, the Air Force launches an aircraft every 90 seconds, 365 days a year. Just as the Air Force provides unrivaled mobility, velocity, and precision to any point on the globe, watch as the drill team executes its trademark maneuver, known as the double spins. <laughs>